Hi everyone, my name is Tiffany Bloomhorst, the Assistant Director of the Ohio Professional Registry. I'm going to show you some new updates we have made to the organization dashboard and how to use them. I'm going to focus on two new items within the dashboard today, and those are the new tabs labeled Groups and Schedules. Let's get started. The admin listed on the program license can have access to the organization dashboard and will access it by clicking on their name in the upper right hand corner and selecting Organization Dashboard. Once there, you can select the program you wish to enter. Some administrators will see more than one program listed here, and that is okay. Once you're in the Organization Dashboard on the landing page, I wanna point out step number one in the new process. Administrators must first review any pending employees on their dashboard. This is a critical step to making the new updates work. Review the employees listed on this page. If they are currently working for your program, select yes. If they are not currently working for your program, select no and provide an end date. If they have never worked with your program or you're unsure who they are, just enter today's date to remove them from your program list. I'm going to verify employment for all three of these professionals. You can now see that all of the correct employees are under the current employees tab and we're able to move forward with creating our schedules and our groups. We are now getting into a new tab. In order to set up staff schedules for your program, you must first establish groups for each of them to be assigned to. In order to add a new group, otherwise known as a classroom within your program, you would click add group. You will see a dialog box at the bottom that comes up that says create group. You would then enter the name of the group, select the lead teacher and provide the enrollment numbers and the age group assigned and click add. You can now see that that group has been added to my listing and it has an edit and a remove button. We're gonna add another group and we're gonna call it preschool two we're gonna provide another lead teacher and the enrollment, and we're gonna select the age group assigned, and we're gonna click Add. You can now see that I have two groups listed. You would do this for every group, AKA classroom within your program, so that you can then eventually assign staff schedules. If you do not have the correct groups listed, you will not be able to assign correct staff schedules. This is the second step in the process to assigning staff schedules. Once you have added all your groups to your group tab, you are now ready for the third and final step to creating staff schedules for employees at your program. You would do so by clicking on the staff schedules tab. You will see the page loads with the employee information where you can select an employee. Each staff schedule will need to be completed in each employee's profile. Let's start by adding a schedule for me, admin at program. I do so by selecting my name. Once I have selected myself, I can see the roles listed in my OPR profile under the roles category. I am currently the admin of this program and have been since 2002. The next category is the staff schedule entry section. Here, you will need to click the add schedule button. You will see a box pop up that is asking for the group in the role and the show schedule button. This is where you would select the group and the role and then add the time frames within the scheduler onto the right. Since I am the administrator at this program, I am not assigned to a group, so I would leave that section blank. My role is auto-populated to administrator on the JFS license, and I do want to show my schedule. You will see here in this box, it is outlined pink. So the expectation is when I go to the scheduler on to the right, that time for that role will be outlined in pink. So currently I work 10 to 2.45 on Monday through Friday. The other options I have on the screen currently are I can either remove the schedule altogether or if I'm completed and is correct, I then scroll up and click save. You will see that the schedule has been saved in my organization dashboard for this employee. 
Let's go to another employee that has more than one schedule that needs entered. Employment works at our program as the lead preschool teacher in the morning and the assistant school age teacher in the afternoon. I, as the admin, will need to enter both schedules for her into the org dashboard scheduler. I will do so by first clicking on the add schedule button. I will then enter the group of preschool two and select lead teacher. You will see the expected color for this schedule should be pink as indicated by the outline of this box. I want to show her schedule so this box will remain checked. I then go to the schedule on the right and select the times Monday through Friday, 8 until noon. I will need to enter a schedule for her for the afternoon, which is the school age assistant teacher. I would do so by clicking the Add Schedule button. You will see a new tile appears here that will allow me to select new groups and roles. The color tab is also different as well. I will select the group of School Age 1 and then the role of Assistant Teacher. I will then add the times from Monday through Thursday as she has Fridays off. And I will select the times 1 to 4.30. Once completed with each staff's schedule, I will then hit the Save Schedule button in order to save the data that I have just entered. Let's do another example. Tiffany is our part-time driver, but she also cooks at our program. I will select her name from the drop-down and then I will click Add Schedule. Since she is a cook and a driver, Neither have a group assigned, so I will leave that drop-down blank, and I will select the first role of driver. She drives the AM route for us Monday through Friday, 7 AM to 8 AM. Once she returns from the route, she begins cooking and is in the kitchen from 8 AM to 2 PM. I will add these both by clicking Add Schedule for each. I will leave the group blank again, and then I will select Cook. She cooks from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. Monday through Friday. If I only want to view one schedule at a time, I will simply click the Show Schedule button for the schedule I don't want to see. That will unselect that option from the menu and only show me the schedules that are highlighted. Later on down the road, Tiffany no longer drives the morning route for us. I would then simply remove that schedule by clicking the Remove button and Remove and saving the record. We then have her start coming in at 6 a.m. to get breakfast ready. We simply would click on that age group tile again and then click on the time frames we added to the schedule. You will now see her schedule is 6 a.m. to 2 p.m. Monday through Friday. You click Save to save the record. In order to determine who you have already entered a schedule for, you can view that information by clicking the Current Employees tab. Simply click on the tab, and any employee who has a clock symbol below their name and open has a schedule entered for them already. That concludes our overview of how to create groups and to enter staff schedules via the Organization Dashboard. Please view our resources page for additional information on both the groups and staff schedule processes. Thank you.